Okay, Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. Out here at the 10KW Solar Ray, I'm going to show you real quick how one of the ways that I transition from PV wire, which is what's underneath the solar panels, to getting inside of a piece of electrical conduit and bringing it into the inverter. So going from the wires that are running outside, which if you can see, have them all fastened with different types of wiring clips and then kind of bundles together into a weather head comes down and then I transition into the box and that's when I get into my gutter so there's a lot of different ways that you could do it you can use cord grips, but uh, that's an off-the-shelf item that works perfectly good. That weather head, you'll see thousands of them as you drive through Georgia in the southeast. Every Any building that has an overhead service is going to have a weather head. And I've seen them all the way down to one inch. You could use that fine on a roof if you came up through the roof, as long as you had a good piece of solid piece of pipe coming up through the roof you could we've done that plenty of times used a weather head it looks fine and that uh, probably shoot a little bit of silicone or putty in those holes just to fill that void so nothing's gonna crawl down in there but I'm like a you know I'm a stickler Let's see a little piece So anyway, this is more, more tips. This is metal flex. This is EMT, terminal adapter, rigid coupler, liquid tight, one and a half inch, metal flex terminal adapter. The cool guys call them TAs. Another terminal adapter into a Myers hub, into an exterior six by six by three foot electrical wiring trough. NEMA 3R. My Sunny Roy inverters are going to be feeding into my Sunny Island. Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thank you for watching.